guys want to stay up to date with my exclusive videos, make sure that you click the bell on the side to get notified. Here's the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Overtime Athletes. Today, what I wanted to show you guys is a great mobility routine for before doing some upper body movements. I usually do this on kind of a push-pull day um, with some of my athletes. Um, it's a couple movements that I think are essential for some of you guys, especially you athletes. So um, you guys try to incorporate some of these in your routine. So the first one that we're gonna do, we're just gonna utilize a foam roller. Um, and each one of these are in order and I'll go over the reps and sets as well. But first one we're gonna do is, is just gonna place the foam roller on your upper back, right? So we want that thoracic mobility. So all we're gonna do here is you have to think of this as a stretch. What I like to do is kind of drop my elbows and it should be right behind it. Then here you're gonna interlace the fingers, pull them back. And then you're just gonna reach back. You wanna to try to draw your shoulders down towards the ground and then come back up almost like you're doing a crunch. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. Again, draw your shoulders down towards the ground as much as you possibly can. Obviously, some of you are tighter in certain areas. We're trying to create mobility in that thoracic region. So wherever you're at that you feel pretty stiff, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you're able to do that. Open up your anterior chain right here. Drive that shoulders down and you're gonna do about 10 repetitions of that. Immediately after that, we're gonna do a uh, basically a quadruple extension with a rotation. So you're gonna go on all fours and we're still same area we're trying to create some mobility in. So you're right here, right? We're from all fours. Um, you know, a common one is the cat cow, but here I wanna add a rotation. So really what I'm looking for is hand goes behind the head, thumb goes right behind the ear. You're gonna come down, you're gonna keep on all fours, you're gonna try to keep your lower back from here down pretty stiff. From here, you're gonna drive that elbow underneath this elbow and then drive that elbow up as high as you possibly can. As you can see, I need these a lot, I'm pretty tight. Boom, and you're just gonna do that 10 on each side. Just like that. Number three, we're gonna go ahead and start to open up the shoulders a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is what we call a line pastor. So you just take like a dowel rod or a PVC pipe. You're gonna go ahead and lay on your stomach. From here, I'm going to tuck my chin. I'm gonna reach out. I wanna, I wanna be able to pull myself in as much as I can, but if I have to start wide, that's fine. So I'm gonna pull my chest off the ground. I'm gonna keep my chin tucked, and I'm just gonna pass it through all the way down, creating mobility in that shoulder, and coming right back. Bang, just like that. After I do 10 of these, I'm just gonna do one more where I tuck my chin, keep my shoulder off, and I'm just gonna drive my elbows down. So I'm gonna bring it in, push straight out. This is more of an activation drill. Just like that, I do 10 repetitions. I do anywhere from two to four sets of all of them. Um, like I said, I incorporate this on my push-pull day. I suggest you guys do the same. And uh, hope that helps, try it out. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.